All right. So welcome everyone. For those of you that I don't know yet, I will briefly introduce myself and then I'm so excited about today's webinar, which is a little different. We're going to be going over three of my favorite nourishing summer recipes. I'm going to go a little bit into why Forcematic products are able to be used in a cold format. We'll talk a little bit about extraction. Um, we're going to go through my three favorite Four Sigmatic products right now. So we'll be jumping into our mushroom ground coffee with lion's mane, our superfood plant-based protein, and our mushroom cacao mix with reishi. And then I have really fun recipes that I'm gonna share with you all. Uh, we'll leave time for Q&A at the end. So anything that you all think of, I always say it's always relevant. When I um, had my clinical practice as an herbalist and nutritionist, I would always say whatever comes up during this session, it's relevant in some way. That's what um, we're talking about when we say holistic, it, it has a point. So if you're like, oh, I have a question about an ingredient or a combination of ingredients and the synergy there, or perhaps another way to use the product, please uh, bring it to the table. And we're going to be using the Q&A feature. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see Q&A not the chat, so please ask your questions there um, and ask them as they come up and I'll either answer them live or I'll answer them towards that few minutes at the end uh, during our Q&A. And then of course, I have a discount code for all of you um, for 20% off that I'll be sharing at the end of the webinar as a thank you for being here and spending, um, spending 30 minutes learning and getting educated about our products and excited about creative new ways to use for Sigmatic during this season. So who I am, um, I think I know a lot of your names now, which is amazing um, that are here today, but I'm our national educator. My name's Danielle. Um, I'm also a, a registered herbalist with the American Herbalist Guild and holistic nutritionist. Um, I also teach mycology where I'm based here in Boulder, Colorado at the Colorado School of Clinical Herbalism. And what's a really fun additional perk that is relevant to today's webinar um, is I'm also a certified raw chef and detox coach. And so I had a previous chapter um, that was really focused on cold recipes, which is so exciting today and in this summer season. And just to speak to kind of where we are right now and making this relevant to our current situation is I feel that it's so important to stay nourished, to stay grounded and balanced, make sure that our bodies are taken care of, that we are energized, we're getting enough sleep, we're getting enough rest, so that no matter what our work is in the world, we are able to show up as the best version of ourselves. And this rings really true for me um, in my early 20s. I was a very big environmental activist and I was sacrificing a lot of my own health to be able to go out in the world and, and make the change that I felt really passionately about. And it wasn't until I kind of broke down some of the strict rules and restrictions that I had for myself, primarily around um, the way that I was eating and nourishing myself until you know, only when I made that a priority was I then able to gain back um, so much of my vitality that I had let slip away and truly show up, right, as my, as my highest, best, healthiest, most energized, rested version of myself. So that's kind of my spiel today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Let's make sure you all can see this. Can someone tell me in the Q&A that you can see this? Yay, okay, thank you so much. All right, so nourishing summer recipes. Little reminder of why we exist. So I kind of just gave my perspective on it, right? I wanna help nourish all of your bodies, make sure that you're taking care of, that you are as full as possible so that you can overflow and give to your family, your children, the world, your work, whatever it is without depleting yourself, right? As if your body is a cup, we wanna fill up your cup so that you can overflow and it not be taking away from you, but actually just adding to, um, to the world. And for Sigmatic specifically, what we're here to do is to help you achieve what we call elevated wellness 
using the world's most nutrient dense ingredients. So these functional ingredients are our functional mushrooms we can talk about a little bit, our adaptogens, our superfoods, and we wanna make it as easy as possible to feel good. And we know that by adding these nutrient rich ingredients into your daily routine, um, that's the most consistent, sustainable way that we can make sure that you are feeling nourished long-term. Okay, so said any time of day, any time of year. So often people ask, oh, do you have to mix Four Sigmatic products with hot water? And the answer is no. And so that's one of my favorite things about the way that we produce our, our, our products and our formulas is that they are ready to use in as many ways as you can think of. Literally, your, your mind is the only um, limitation there. So whether it is with hot water um, or not, it can also be with a smoothie and liquid and food, um, baking with them. And so I want to share some inspiration today of summer recipes with our ingredients. And why is this the case? So I'm going to go into this a little more on our next slide, but especially with our functional ingredients, primarily our functional mushrooms, they have been pre-extracted. And so I want to be clear as we're talking about cold recipes today, um, and some of my recipes I'll be sharing are raw, um, functional mushrooms should never be consumed raw. Uh, they're actually completely inedible to our bodies in their raw form. And so they must be pre-extracted for our bodies to reap all of the nutritional benefits that exist within that mushroom fruiting body. And so this is where sometimes people get confused of, wait, I thought you had to mix the product with hot water to receive the benefits. Um, and what we've done at Four Sigmatic, we want it to be as easy as possible for you to get the, the benefits of our, of our functional ingredients and thus of our products. And so we've done the heavy lifting for you. We've already extracted our ingredients. So when you receive them in your bag of ground coffee or your canister of protein, the extraction has been done and all you have to do is consume it. I, you, those of you that know me, I say this all the time. I used to tell my clients this, the medicine doesn't work if you don't take it. So what is going to be the easiest way for you to incorporate these products into your daily life? And that's the way that I want you to do it. So that's why I'm sharing three recipes today with three different products suggesting to do them at three different times of day so that you can say, okay, what does my daily life typically look like? Do I already have a routine in the morning? Do I already have a routine in the middle of the day? Maybe it's my lunch hour, or do I already do something in the evening? And then capitalize on that existing habit to add a Four Sigmatic product into that part of your routine. So hot or cold, I said sip shrooms all summer long with cooling recipes. What we're gonna be going over today is a cold brew coffee, um, a really awesome smoothie bowl, and one of my favorite raw desserts, which is a chocolate avocado mousse using our mushroom cacao mix with reishi. Okay. So a little bit about the process of extraction and why Four Sigmatic products are able to be used in a smoothie or in a cold form is this slide that you're looking at right now. So essentially we start with, this might seem silly, but we start with a mushroom, right? When we're talking about our functional mushroom ingredients. And there's actually two distinct parts to what is often referred to as a mushroom out in the marketplace. So there's the root system, root system, mycelium, and then there's the part of the species that is growing above ground or on the side of trees, which is the mushroom itself. It's the real mushroom, also called the fruiting body. And we are so proud. I'm so proud to be part of a brand that's using this real mushroom because this is the part of the species that's been used for hundreds and some traditions, even thousands of years. And so I'd, I always say is that for Sigmatic, we're not doing anything new. And people are like, Danielle, what do you mean? You're creating mushroom coffee and mushroom cacao. Of course it's new, but 
the way that we're providing the ingredients is as close to the form that's been used in cultures and traditions all across the world for centuries. Um, and I love that. I feel as an herbalist, part of my life goal is to revive ancient traditions, to make sure that these incredibly time-tested uh, rituals and ingredients, whether they're plant or fungi based, that they have a place in our modern world. And especially our functional mushrooms, um, we really need them, especially in the West, right? Our, the big categories that they're supporting are immune support and stress support. And I just feel that is so relevant for all of us, especially in this wild year that we're all living through together. Um, and so part of that is carrying on this tradition, right? Using the actual real mushroom. And then step two is our, our focus education point of this call, which is the extraction piece. So I'm going to get a little bit heady with all of you. And if you have questions, please let me know. But essentially mushrooms contain a compound in their cell wall and it's called chitin. So this is the same compound found in crustaceans. Think of crab, shrimp, lobster shells. It's super tough. And the human body doesn't actually have the enzymes to be able to break open this chitin. And so what that means is in order for us to access all of the compounds in that mushroom fruiting body, the compounds that offer that immune support, the stress support, right, productivity support with our lion's mane, the mushroom cell wall, this chitin, must be broken open. I think of this like the door of your kitchen and you're outside the kitchen trying to get inside. The door is the chitin in this case, the mushroom cell wall. And you know that within the kitchen, there's all this incredible nutrition, right? You have all the food in your fridge and your pantry and you're so hungry, you really wanna get inside. Unless you're able to open that door, there's no way that your body can access all of the food in your kitchen. This is the same thing with mushrooms and why it's so important that the mushroom must be extracted for our bodies to reap the benefits. Um, I won't get into this too deeply, but there's essentially two traditional ways to break open that chitinous wall. And the first is through hot water, right? So basically I think of a long, um, a long boil, old medicine men and women stirring big cauldrons full of mushrooms and different barks. Um, so we have this long hot water boil, which is called a decoction. And then we have an alcohol extract, which is called a tincture. So it's not uh, particularly important which method is done. The method that you choose will lead to um, what, what compounds from that mushroom you are extracting. So essentially, the, the biggest thing is that you want to always ensure that when you're using functional mushrooms, they have been extracted in at least one way, if not both. Um, and then, so at Four Sigmatic, we pre-extract every single one of our functional mushrooms, and then we, we spray dry them. So this is essentially a big dehydrator. There's no chemicals used in the process. It just uh, evaporates the liquid and then turns these extracts back into a powdered form, which is when we combine with organic fair trade coffee for our ground coffee or different plant-based protein sources or unrefined cacao to create our recipes. And then of course we go through really rigorous third-party lab testing um, before it ever goes to all of you, our customer. So because this extraction process has been done, Spark Notes is why when you buy your Four Sigmatic product, it is active, it is ready to go, whether it's in a smoothie, whether it's in hot water, whether it's brewed in a coffee machine, any way that you're, you choose to use it, you will receive the benefits of the functional mushroom. Okay. So your elevated daily routine, we're gonna go over a, um, a recipe for think, right? Our think category, which is um, our lion's mane mushroom is highlighted in this, in this category. And we'll be using our ground coffee and then our chill routine, which is our reishi supporting um, mushroom cacao. And then our repair or defend category, uh, which is where our plant-based protein falls. 
recipes. Okay, so I wanted to share a super simple way to make cold brew with all of you. And if you have a French press, this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, so all you have to do is, depending on the brew strength, you will put four to eight tablespoons of Four Sigmatic ground mushroom coffee. In this case, I'm using our lion's mane, but you can use any Four Sigmatic ground coffee. And then pour cold filtered water on top of it and don't press the French press. So just leave it brewing in there. If you don't have a French press, you can do this in any jar. You can do this in a mason jar, in a pitcher, whatever, um, whatever you have around, as long as there's um, the ability for the water and the grounds to um, begin to have this slow steeping process. So you're gonna let it sit um, ideally for six to eight hours. So the best way to do this is overnight. And then in the morning, you're gonna either, if you're using that French press, you'll press it in the morning or you'll strain it um, in whatever way works for you. If you have a, a filter or um, you know a strainer, you can add a, a muslin cloth over it or a cheese cloth to make sure that you don't have grounds in there and end up drinking a cowboy coffee. Um, and that's it. So it's this really slow um, infusion process where you're using that cold water. And then of course, I, I always want to find little ways to spice up uh, our recipes. So it, literally just the coffee and the water and that time is what you need to make your cold brew. And then of course, if you want to fancy it up with some nut milk, um, I like to add different spices in my cold brew. So whether it's allspice, turmeric, cinnamon, um, orange peel can be really fun. And then any sort of sweetener um, of your choice. So easy. Cold brew will last in um, your refrigerator as well for a couple days, sometimes up to a week. Uh, so it's a really great way to uh, have a cold, ready to go mushroom coffee for your whole week without having to do much daily preparation. Okay, so plant-based protein with superfood smoothie bowl. Um, I'm actually drinking one right now. It's like slyly off screen, but essentially what you're gonna do is, um, it's your smoothie, but in a bowl topped with really fun fixins. So a scoop of Four Sigmatic plant-based protein, and then either frozen banana or fresh banana, and then if, if I'm lucky you guys aren't gonna glare your eyes at me, but frozen cauliflower. So if you want a, if you're trying to avoid um, a higher sugar uh, smoothie, which I find so many smoothies out there are just full of, full of fruit, which the sugar can really add up, um, frozen cauliflower is an amazing option. You don't taste the cauliflower at all, I promise. Um, and it's a really great way to add that kind of creamy texture that you would get from a banana uh, for a really low glycemic option. So either frozen banana or frozen cauliflower, try it and please let me know what you think. Uh, any sort of nut milk of choice. So oat, I'm using oat this morning, almond, coconut are all great choices. And then any sort of berries, fresh or frozen that you have, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, or a combination of the above. And then two pro tips are adding a pinch of a high quality salt. So a Himalayan salt would be ideal. And then half of the juice of a lemon. Um, this totally elevates your smoothie game. It really brings out all of the flavors. Uh, so make sure you add that lemon whenever you're making a smoothie and really you can taste the difference. And then you'll just pour this, you'll blend it all, pour it into a bowl, and then top with whatever you want to make it fancy and delicious. So I'll usually um, top it with granola. You can add some coconut flakes, cacao nibs, maybe save some of your berries and add some fresh berries on top. Um, and it's just a really nourishing summer meal to have uh, either in the morning or, or any time of day. I see some questions coming in, but I'll, I'll get to them at the end here. And then my favorite recipe, which I'm so excited for you all to try. Uh, this is such a, a winner for anyone that might have dietary restrictions. So anyone that is 
you know, gluten-free, paleo, keto, whatever it might be, this is really a winning dessert for, for all bodies that are following different diets. And it's a raw mushroom cacao with reishi avocado mousse. Um, super simple. All you need is a blender. And what you're going to do is pit and peel your avocados and the riper, the better. So I recommend about four avocados for four people. Um, and this also freezes really well. So if you're just making it for yourself, uh, you could still follow the same recipe and then freeze, freeze the leftovers. You're going to do two tablespoons of um, organic cacao powder, or you can up the dose of your Four Sigmatic Mushroom Cacao with Reishi uh, if you don't have the extra cacao. And so that's really the base of it, is this avocado, your cacao, and then to add a little bit of sweetness, um, I like to put about two tablespoons of maple syrup, a pinch of Himalayan salt, and then either um, a can of full fat coconut milk or uh, any other nut milk you have around. And that's it. You're going to blend it. Make sure you blend it for a while until it has this really smooth, creamy consistency. And then with every recipe I make and that I recommend to all of you, try it throughout the process. Every time that you make it based on the ripeness of your avocado, um, you know, and the type of nut milk you use, there's always going to be variation. And that's one of the things that makes home cooking so beautiful and unique is that you will never recreate the exact same thing twice. And so play with it, right? Add, you know, a little bit of extra milk if you want a smoother consistency. Um, add an extra Four Sigmatic packet if you want it more to have that rich chocolate flavor. Um, but this is, this is truly so easy and such a crowd winner um, for, for your family, for yourself. Um, and people have no idea how healthy this is. I love making this for guests and they're like, wow, how did you make this mousse? And I should only have a little bit. And then you're like, this has, you know, about five ingredients. Uh, it's avocado based. And then of course, this one specifically is elevated with reishi, our queen of mushrooms, our partner in chill, our support for occasional stress and helping us unwind and prepare for a deep night of sleep. So um, such an elevated dessert. Uh, once you pour, once you blend it, you'll kind of scoop it into uh, little cups or little bowls. And then similarly to our smoothie bowl, top it with anything that you want to fancy it up with. So hemp seeds, coconut flakes, cacao nibs. Uh, in this image, there's a couple toasted almonds. So you can toast any nuts and add those on top um, and then enjoy. So those are my recipes. I'll, I'll look at your Q&A in a second, but I did want to share with you all this discount code I made for you. It's called SUMMER20 and it's gonna give you 20% off your Four Sigmatic order. It's gonna be valid through the end of the day tomorrow. I encourage you to try one of these three recipes and then know that myself and our Four Sigmatic team is always here to add inspiration and education and just support your process of elevating your routine with functional mushrooms and superfoods uh, in any way that we can. So thank you all. Our time goes so quick, and I'm going to get to our Q&A. Okay. Rose, I'm a relatively new uh, customer to Four Sigmatic. I ordered a couple range of elixirs and coffees, but have only just started using them. My question is, um, where are the mushrooms grown? I have Hashimoto's disease and have foods I cannot eat, so I've been looking into your products to try and fill some of the needs that cannot be filled with regular food. Um, I'm so glad you found us. Thank you for being here, Rose. And uh, yeah, one of the things that made me so passionate about working with functional mushrooms is uh, in my clinical practice prior to Four Sigmatic, um, most of the individuals that were coming to me had either autoimmune conditions, chronic illnesses, or um, were dealing with ailments that the Western medical world said, we don't, we don't have an answer to that. We don't know. Um, you know, what you're experiencing. We don't have a name. We don't have a pill. And so these kind of wide range of more extreme conditions ended up coming to my office. And 
there are very few plant medicines that I was actually able to work with to support my autoimmune clients. And so I ended up focusing on functional mushrooms and having a functional mushroom based practice because of their ability to support um, immune systems at all stages. And so Rose, I'd, I'd love to talk to you more offline, but um, for those of you more familiar with Four Sigmatic, we know that functional mushrooms are immune modulators, which means that they can either um, tamper down or upregulate your body's immune system based on what your body is experiencing. So they're literally like cruise control, helping our bodies to find that balance, that equilibrium, um, which is why they're safe for um, those of us that might be looking to um, have a stronger immune system, might be more vulnerable, um, as well as bodies like yours, Rose, who, who may be experiencing overactive immune response. And so we could both take, you know, a, um, the same functional mushroom species and it will have a different reaction in our body based on our, what our body is needing to bring us into balance. Um, so I'm so glad you found functional mushrooms. And um, unfortunately, I have to say this disclaimer that I'm not your healthcare practitioner, uh, so I can't speak to specific ailments or diseases, but I am more than happy to give you any information um, to take to your healthcare practitioner to do the research. These are among the most researched foods on the planet. And so there's so much out there. And I, um, myself and our incredible support team can guide you towards how to do that research on your own and find the information that you need to make the best choice for your body. Okay. Um, Rock and Robin, love this name. You're saying, I, I don't seem to do well with stevia. So I avoid any products containing this ingredient. I do love the adaptogen coffee without any sugar. It's delicious. Is there a reason stevia is added? So um, in the three products that I mentioned today, um, our coffee does not contain any stevia. Our protein, all of our protein, even our flavored protein, so our peanut butter and creamy cacao flavor, they are all stevia free. Um, so Rock and Robin, we listen to customer feedback like yours that says, I don't love stevia. Um, and we love hearing that and we adjust accordingly. So uh, it's one of my favorite things about our plant-based protein is I could talk all day about what's in it, but it's also really important to understand what's not in it, right? So there's no soy, no gluten, no gums, no fillers, um, no natural flavors and, and no stevia at all. So both that cold brew recipe and, and our protein you can use and don't have to worry about not having stevia in there. Awesome question. Irene, we're enjoying the coffee mix and the cacao a lot. Um, yeah, so asking about um, Prop 65. That's a great question, Irene. And I'm gonna give you the short answer now and then tell you to reach out to support at Four Sigmatic so we can actually give you the full information that, that you need. Um, but essentially there's a proposition in the state of California that says um, that we have to, basically if we sell our products in California, we have to have this, this label on our products and we just don't have a big enough operation and team to be able to sell products, um, kind of manufacture specific uh, boxes just for the state of California versus everywhere else in the, in the country. Um, but we do have really, really strict third-party lab testing where we test for everything from heavy metals and mycotoxins, molds, yeasts, irradiation. Um, and so the cleanliness of our ingredients is so important. It's like not only is um, all of our products USDA organic, we really take that next step to make sure that um, we're offering the safest, cleanest, highest quality products for your body. Um, so Irene, reach out to me and I'll, I'll give you that a lot more info to, to explain what you may be looking for. Um, okay. Where can we find copies of these recipes? So I will send you all a follow-up email and I'll include a link that you can rewatch this. Um, and then... Let me see if there's another way. So you can um, watch this and kind of screenshot those recipes or I'll chat with my team and see if there's another way that we can write out these recipes for you all as well. Okay. 
Cynthia, you're in Boulder for the summer. I'm right down the road. Uh, okay. Um, any recommendations for practitioners that would support your detox protocol? Yes, so many, Cynthia. Uh, reach out to me, Danielle, at foursigmatic.com, and I will hook you up with a bunch of incredible practitioners in the Boulder area that can support you. Okay. Um, there are so many questions. You're all amazing. Um, I'm going to answer one more. And then please know that if you have any other questions I didn't get to, reach out either to me directly or support at foursigmatic.com and we would love to chat with you further. Um, okay, so Deborah is asking, was the formula changed for the superfood blend, the rose hips? So with our recent rebrand, where all of our products now have a colored bar at the top of them, to either be in that think category, right? That has the orange bar, the defend all day category with the green bar or the chill blue category. Um, so all of your favorite products that might look a little bit different based on that uh, categorization. And the intention with that is to make it easier to understand when and why to take every one of our Four Sigmatic products. Um, the, Deborah, I'm not sure if you're talking about our protein or just, I think, our mushroom blend mix. Um, and so with that mushroom blend, uh, there are 1,500 milligrams of functional mushroom extracts in every serving. And then we add rose hips extract as well. The rose hips is in there because of the high vitamin C content. And vitamin C actually helps increase the bioavailability of many of the compounds in our mushrooms. So that formula is 10, I like to say when you can't choose one, call on all 10. It's my favorite um, like total immune supporting product. And so the only difference is, um, yeah, the amount of milligrams were shifted slightly so that now all Four Sigmatic products have either 500 milligrams of um, functional ingredient extracts per serving or 1,500. Um, so things like our uh, coffees and lattes and cacaos have 500 milligrams as that starting uh, dose per serving. And then uh, products like our protein and elixirs and the blend that you're talking about, Deborah, have 1500 milligrams of extract per serving. So we're trying to make it really easy and consistent across our brand to know how much you're getting, when to take our products, why you're taking them at that particular time of the day and just really overall to make sure that it's easy and fun and accessible to elevate your routine. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us at support and I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your summer recipes. Go use summer 20 at foursigmatic.com to get your discount and I will talk to you soon. Take care.